Hi everyone, my name is Ibrahim Suleiman. This fine girl here is my wife. Linda Ejafo Suleiman. Where are you from? What, 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 maybe, no, really, what, what was that? I mean, it's Valentine's, so I have to be really hot. I don't even know why I wore red. See, you see, me, I'm not stereotypical, you understand? I gave them some, some glue, you know, mm. so that they will know that one of us is not the stereotypical one. So I'm taking a hit for you, baby. Thank you, baby. I got you. Um, guys, welcome to um, Paul's Fun Facts. Myself and this lovely young lady are going to be asking each other questions and hopefully she will not expose me too much because we will go home together, baby. So let's just try. I will try. Like, liar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and guys, if you haven't seen season one of our podcast, The Dew Parenting Podcast, please check it out it's on YouTube. It is a lot of fun. We expose each other quite a lot. And we talk about our son and, a lot. And the journey so far. Yeah. We're working on season two already, so fingers crossed gonna be great. Was it love at first sight for you? Um, ah. Settle down, settle down. In a manner of speaking, right? Because at the time, I was seriously in a relationship. The first time I saw you, I was in a relationship that I thought was going to end in marriage. I don't, because I don't order ring at the time. You understand? However, comma, I was walking, I went to visit my mother and I was walking past the living room and she was watching an episode of Tintor. And then I didn't used to, I didn't really used to watch TV at all because I was a gamer. And so I saw this beautiful girl on TV and she was talking. And the way her lips were moving, I was like, ah, she has nice lips. I'd like to kiss that girl one day. Guess who kisses that girl every day now? Ah! Boom! See, I'm a man of target setting. Yeah, proud. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Father, so forgive me. The question is, was it love as first? So I fell in love with your lips first. You understand? Then I now made the rest of you that came with the lips. <laughs> Then you know, you're fun, you're intelligent, you're hardworking, you're stubborn. You know, all the things I like about you. Stubborn again. I, uh, I don't like boring babes. It's okay. Yeah. So yes, it was almost at first sight. What was your first impression of me? He's funny. That was that was the first thing I because you said something and it made me laugh. So I'm like, ah, he's funny, and he's cute. And he wears glasses. Oh, nice. She likes, it. She likes nerds. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, that was the first impression. Yeah. He's funny and cute. Yeah. So, if one guy that's funny and cute now comes, come and Calm down, we're you. talking about us. Okay, please. sorry, let's focus. Let's focus. Uh -uh. Right. Okay. What song reminds you of me? I get to love you. Because you played that song so many times, I almost jumped out of the window. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> so, there's this song. <laughs> It's a beautiful. The thing is, it's a beautiful. You danced to the song at the wedding. Yes. Because you, it was part of the cut. The, the 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 what do you call it? The conditions under which the wedding was planned. You said we must dance to this song, and I'm like, you know what? Happy wife, happy life. Let's get started from the beginning. Let's do it right now. I'm kidding, baby. Hey, one chance, baby, baby, baby. It's okay. even funny. Okay. But yeah, that's see. Anytime I hear that song, it reminds me of you. I have, you know, you you looked so happy in that moment that every time you're frowning and sulking because of something you think that I did, because most of the time, anyway. But focus. I just try and picture you in that moment so that I will not give you. I will not. I will not you know, give you back what you're giving me. Mm. I don't maintain the energy because I go back to that and I'm like, okay, you know what? That's who she really is. This mini monster here is just going through a little bit of a rough patch that I'll rub your back and tell you, you'll be fine. It's okay. I got you. And you now smile. Like how you're smiling. Okay. Am I in trouble? Oh, you're so, you in so much trouble. Send help, please. What made you realize that I am the one? Um, It was the first time, not the first time, maybe a couple of times that we've gone out. We went out on a date. Uh -huh. And I noticed how you were always nice to people. Just you were just nice yeah. to so I I just told myself he's a good man and yeah I need a good man in my life so yeah that's the time I realized that so yeah. your word out there to young ladies who are looking for men make sure that they nice. um my my advice out there to young ladies 
the way he treats people that are not related to him is the way he will treat you and your family. So watch out for that. Fair. That's a fair. Fair. Nice one. I'm smart. <sighs> what is the three most challenging things about being with me? Three. You're laughing. Which baby? Yeah. Ah. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. What else? What, what in my mind? I was like, three. Like, why would they ask for three? Like, what you if there isn't one. even? Yeah, yeah. I think it's safer for me to come to just say one. Okay, one. Let me hear one. Be careful. I think it's safer for me to just say there are no challenges whatsoever being with you at all. Like, it's a breeze. Like, I wake up in the morning and baby. I'm like, yes, baby. What are the three most challenging things? You harass me. <laughs> <laughs> You see this? This is my life. <laughs> She's always harassing me. <laughs> um, One. Hey, father. Um, what's challenging? Um, you're a go-getter. And sometimes you tend to forget that I am a planner. You understand? True. So you're always like, oh, let's go now, now, now. I'm like, bruh, I need to do some research and book and make sure that the dates are aligned. Well, let's go now, now. Yeah, so that, that's challenging. Three. Um, oh. Three. <laughs> Say it as it is. So I think interesting thing about number three is the fact that we've been married for four years now and you have worked hard. You've done it's no longer an issue. And it is the fact that it used to be difficult to like when we have a disagreement. If I don't come to you and be like, okay, you know, let's talk about it. Whether you're wrong or right, I'm the one who always comes to you and be like, let's talk about it. Let's let's sort this out. You have about grown it. Because the last time we had a disagreement, I'm like, man, I think crap, bro. And then it I was shocked. But that's not challenging now. It was challenging to but me I, because I can't live like that. Well, I, I you said I I I've become better. That's so how is that part of the challenge? That's why I said before I answered that the Moving third one is still on. not see. Have you ever had an I am done moment since we got together and how did you manage it? I've never, never had an I am done mm. with the marriage. Mm. No, I've never, never had it. I've had, I'm tired. I'm tired of this argument. I'm tired of this quarrel. Really? But never had mm. I am done moment. True, true. Who is most likely to initiate sex more often? See, eh? to the glory of God, oh. it's me. Why you? Why, 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 why? Okay. Because uh, one of the because yes, because one of the things that I prayed for before we got married, even before I asked you to marry, was that I wanted to be super attracted to you all the days of my life if we end up together. I do not want a situation where one day I just wake up, just look at you, and just be like. I need to feel this babe like that again. You understand? Because love is not enough. You know, um, I, I would agree. always, you, you, you could always love your partner. But then attraction tends to, I, I mean, I grew up around people who are, who are older, who have had years of you know, experience in marriage. And I see how they just become brother and sister. You understand? Mm -hmm. So they're happily married. They don't have issues, but they're no longer like excited about each other, like physically. Moving on. <laughs> if your favorite celebrity confessed his love for you, would you dump me for him? <laughs> Don't even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, leave me. <laughs> baby. Don't baby me. Baby. Answer the question, dear. <laughs> Let me think. Just know. <laughs> while you're thinking, let me help your thought process. Remember that you're following me home. All the things that you've been saying, you don't know that you're going to follow me. Oh, uh -uh, baby. Why and this is just now? a game. Why are we and it's you have to an be nice if. To me. It's an if. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Remove your <wig. laughs> So, hmm. but unfortunately, the person is married. So the person comes. The person will run back to their wife. Yes. Ryan Reynolds, I'm here for you, baby. <laughs> I'm rolling my eyes. So my, 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 you might not see it, but I'm rolling my eyes so hard I have a headache. 
The annoying thing about this Ryan Reynolds matter is that I absolutely adore Ryan Reynolds. I think he is hilarious and he's so into Bleak that, you know, he's he's the kind of guy I want to be like. Do you understand? So I can't, I get it. If he shows up and you'll be like, I decor. I go just, I go calm down, I go wait, you come back. But you know. Who said I love you first, when and where? It was me. And it was on the phone. I think we just had this argument about I can't remember, was, I know I remember that it was silly and that's what was upsetting the fact that the argument was about something that was silly and you got upset I think you deleted our chats I think you know guy we're still dating I deleted his chat deleted his number she, like guess what she deleted her number but she had in her head because that she called me <laughs> deleted his chat deleted his number like they are done mm. then we you called or you called Joe Baby, you called Joe. No. You called. How would I like have that? You called. You memorized my number. Remember, it was one of the things I teased you about for a while that you memorized my Whatever. number. Whatever. It's my story. I'm the one saying. <laughs> tell it. Tell it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then I called and we talked and you apologized and you said I love you. That's not exactly how it went, but you know, for this particular conversation, that answer will suffice. The truth is actually more interesting. Um, mm -hmm. What is the one thing you miss about me when, whenever I'm away from home or when I'm far away from you? It can be seven or eight things. You know, let's not restrict you. No, let, you said one no, no, thing. no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Let's let's okay. Go crazy. Knock yourself out. When you're not around. Mm. It can even be when I'm in the next room because you know sometimes you you miss me. Like that. Who I can cuddle with at night? I'm a cuddler. Fair. Then um, who can help me turn on the gen? Pay for Nepa bill. Um. Executive houseboy here. <laughs> Executive. Like even when the housekeeper is around, she would rather have me go and do things. And I'm like, but that's why we pay the housekeeper. But no, babe, please, can you? Go on, go on. Uh, Who would run errands for you, yes? Yeah. Oh. Who would gist with me? I'm a gist. I don't know what she's talking about. I Who never, helped I never me do my about. TikTok videos and all the other yes, videos? Yes, I'm her videographer, yes. Yes. Oh. Um... Yeah. So it's not my wisdom, my wit, my intellect. Oh, my, that, that. My extremely good looks. You said six. You said six or six, seven. So I've, I've mentioned. No, you mentioned two. But it's okay, baby. I forgive you. Your wisdom. Who would advise me? Yes. That is very important. Who would advise me? Because you're blood to the heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, don't I say calm down, baby. Let's, let's think about this. So. Yeah. What are the three ways? Hey, God. I have impacted your life <laughs> positively since we got to we got together um not since not necessarily married. since we got married um i'm trying to arrange it okay no particular order you made me believe in relationships again because i was coming out of something that was dark and i my, i was at that i was at the point in my life where I was like, you know what, just focus on your career. Women are not worth your effort and energy and all of that. So just focus on your career, make some money, spoil your um, siblings. Yeah, because, you know, that's all I had left. And then you show up and let's just say that you made me see women in a good light again. You know, um, because that was done. <laughs> they don't should so then, ah, don't show me shaggy. Um, so does that. Then, the way that you are with your family, right? Your family is large. Mine is super tiny, you know. Um, and seeing the way that you were with your dad, your mom, your siblings, it may, I wanted that as well. Like myself and my siblings, well, it's just three of us, and we're like super tight. But you know that large family. Thing. we never had that you know so that now that i kind of have that because now my siblings are your siblings your siblings are my siblings you know and then so now i have that big family feel and i love it the, the energy is incredible and you've also made me learn to trust again that partnership is is stronger than trying to go with alone you know, uh -huh. so I'm glad that you're my partner and my friend and why pair, why do, you know. Baby, I got you. 
I because I know you have me. So yeah, so those three are very important to me. Okay. Oh yeah, mine, me, next. My friend, come on, don't don't do that. I will still answer the question. Even though. <laughs> when, where, and how did we have our first kiss? And what word best describes how you felt about it? If you like. <laughs> if you like to day, baby, I will expose you. You know, Pulse have global audience. The whole world. <laughs> we'll say, ah, you're my daughter. So they want to start lying. When, where, and how? You can skip the where, though. I can't even remember the where. You're a dirty liar. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying like a two and a half year old child, dear. <laughs> When, where, and how? And how did you feel about it? Oh, how did I feel about mm -hmm. it? So it's like a four question in one kind of question. Um, somewhere, like I said, I can't remember where. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go on, go but on. It's okay, I forgive you. We go had on. finished watching something as we well. About to head out. Yeah. I just turned down and grabbed his face and kissed him, man. <laughs> she kissed me first. I just saw grab this face. I'm like, get it over and done with, please. please. She don't remember the thing and see. Just do this thing so that you know if it's a good kisser, so that before you take it further. Fair, fair, fair. So, so you wanted to make sure that you know. It, it, let me cross that. You wanted to know that you know it looked, it, it it felt as good as it looked. No, not as good as. Yeah, it hit her. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it hit her. So yeah. Then how did I feel afterwards? I felt good. Because, yeah, obviously, we married. He's a good kisser, so. Moving on. My question. Wait, wait, before we move on. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a medical condition oh, that made I rejected it in Jesus' name, amen, but go, carry on. That made it difficult and impossible for us to be physically intimate, would you still be with me? By physically intimate, you mean like, like intercourse, like sex? Yes, no. You still be with me? That's yes, no. Is that, like, that's the whole question? Yeah. Is the, the answer is not long. Yes. 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 Okay. Do you want to say yes again? Yes. Yes. Oh. I'm going to get it today. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that question is a, is a non starter, of course. <laughs> Mm. Oh no, I know the answer to this one now. Like, like, really. Mm -hmm. Who's more sure. romantic? I am. Damn it. Can't you even just lie? You are. Okay, that works. <laughs> okay. Um... Wait now, wait. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh -uh, but we've moved on. No, 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 no. Clear me, dear. <sighs> so let's have it on record. So there are times when I'm like, I'm like super busy and I've been away. And I know that she's missing me, or you know stuff like that. And you know, I just do a song. I just do a little surprise, interesting, unplanned thing to make her realize that I might not be around you, but I got you. You know, so I'm not. Since we are. Maybe moving on, moving on. No, on. since we are on, telling on, our on, secret out, let me just remember that birthday. He can be romantic. <laughs> so there's this birthday thing he did for. <laughs> Let me it has expired now. No, let's talk about this. Yeah, so let's say it has it's expired. Like, let's like talk about this. It's three years old. It so is like three years old, baby. We got, when we got married in 2018, 2019, my birthday, he now did this thing that he was always dropping a letter for me saying, oh, open it, your next play. You know, he did all that. And this, there's this letter that had coup, um, coupons that are like 10 or 20 coupons. And I, we moved houses, so I just remembered. That. I saw them, and I'm like, ooh, coupons. I'm going to use them. And this uncle is telling me that it has expired. How? From where to where? Navdak, dear. There was there no was... expiring date on it. So here's what you need to understand about Navdak sometimes. No, I'm not understanding anything about Navdak. I'm so still going to use expired. my coupon. Are you romantic or not? Is my answer tied to the coupon? To, to the coupon? Yes. <laughs> 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 Three things that excite you about our future together. Ha! Travel. Travel. Um, I used to enjoy traveling by myself. Like, I never used to enjoy traveling with other people. I just like to go by myself, have my backpack, so I can do whatever I want. Um, then we started to take trips together when we were dating. And it's such a blast. 
And I know that this might come as a surprise to you because whenever we travel, we, I'm the one that, you know, I'll go and find our gates, I'll go and, mm, 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 mm. you're yeah, just there sitting down, pressing forward. Um, but it's the excitement on your face when we get there. Like the trip for you is not usually fun. But then when we get there, you know, the ex- like you look like a child. <laughs> like you're like Keon, just, you know, at the beach. That's how you look. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to doing, I, doing that you know, more when, you know, things are more settled, Kion is older, you know, so we can dump him with the ground. So there's that. Then the plans that we have, the things that we want to build together, super excited about those things. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to those things. Um, because they're, they're good things, not just for us, but they're actually good things for people, people and, you know. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And then I want to... Let's just say I'll tell you the third one later. Okay. When it's just us. Okay. Mona Nove. <laughs> Who is most likely to never give up during an argument? You. That's such a fat lie, bro. You. Is it simple? Within answer. context. With, no, 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 baby. Simple. Within context. You will never give up during an argument, Dave. Because no 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 no. You, you can't say I never give I never give up during an argument. I never give up during an argument when I'm right. Yes, when you're right. I remember when we were dating, you used to complain that I never used to want to argue. Yes, true. And then I told you that. Okay, to be fair, uh, when he's right, uncle will not give up. Uncle let it go. No, I want to prove. I want to tell you that it, you must learn. <laughs> she just said it exactly how I say it. You're going to learn. You're going to learn today. <laughs> so, yes, uncle will never give up. So, yeah. However, yes. comma. Even when after that is done, I always make it up to you and I always explain why, you know, make sure that you understood. True, okay. true, 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 all true. So, who is most likely to be late? You. Ah. For work. No, no, you're, you're hardly, I, I, no, not for work. Mm-hmm. But when we're going somewhere, baby. I have oh to get dressed God. now. I have to make up now. Even though, if, 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 do. Maybe even when, like today. <coughs> today. But we still came early. We could have, yes, we came early. Did you think they want to hear what you want to explain now? Just say, just say, baby, please don't expose me. It's okay. Don't be, don't be proud. Baby, please just read your mind. <laughs> what made you say yes to forever with me? What differentiated me from them? No, just think? just not differentiated. I don't want to know. What made you say yes? No, I was going to say, what made you think that there was them? There was never any them. It's liar, liar. You liar. You when they bomb me like this, I just <laughs> no say it like Liar, you. liar, pants on fire. Do you know how many times you said I'm, I came out of a nasty relationship? Baby, baby. Baby, don't. Let, let's. Do you know how many times you just said I, I came out of a nasty relationship? No, now, no, no, no. The relationship made, itself was no, not nasty. No, it was the way that no, it's just what, tanked. What differentiated <laughs> me from them and what made you say yes to forever with me? I have to make clear that they, I don't know what them is. I have <laughs> Your no other idea. girlfriends. Baby, let's Shut them. up. <laughs> Um, answer, answer. I think I think for me, right, one of the first things, it's a number of things. This question is not a one, it's not just a single. Just say one now. Do How would, I want to be able to prioritize and, you know, decide which one is the most important one. But that's hard. So, you are a solid human being. I, I don't know how else to say it because that just sounds like a... Yeah, you brick Stone. wall. <laughs> but when I say solid, I don't mean solid like, you know, physical, you know, dense objects. I mean like, you have so many values that are stacked up together that you're not shallow, you're not thin. Do you understand? You're not easy to to just break through mm. or just... You, ha- you, 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 you have your own personality you have your own set of values you are you know who you are you're not you're difficult to influence 
Do you understand what I'm saying? This is true. They're yeah, very difficult to influence. And at the risk of sounding some type of way, you reminded me a lot of my mother, who is my hero, you know? So <laughs> it just it just felt like it just felt like so many values that I was raised with, you were raised to those values as well. And then seeing the way that you relate with your family, you know, you have these very serious family values, like family is number one. Um, and that's what I've, that's what, all I've ever wanted, you know, um, and I feel like that's top of my list. And then you were, you are really kind to me because we had been friends for a while, but then by the time we now started, um, realizing, by the time when we started spending time together, I was going through a lot, you know, I just loved my mom and all of that and all of that. So, you were extremely kind. Like, you treated me like I was your brother, like I was a family member. And at that point, you didn't owe me anything. We hadn't started dating. There was nothing going on. We were just friends. And it meant a lot to me. So, in my mind, I'm just like, if she says no, you know, talk to her mother. <laughs> and tell like her, my father, you mean? No, you see, if you go and talk to her father, you understand? Father will still talk to her mother. You get so when you get mommy first, the mommy will get daddy. You understand? The mommy and daddy. The mommy and daddy will come and say, if you sit down, sit down. You see, this is a good boy, a good boy, Maria. You understand? <laughs> so that long, that's that's the long version of it. Yeah. You did well, babe. Thank you, thank you. So did you? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, it's the Valentine special of Paul's. Fun. Fun facts. Yes. And I hope you had fun. I had fun, you know, looking for trouble. And I'm sure she had fun making me squirm. Uh, have a wonderful um, Valentine. Valentine's. Be kind to everyone. And remember that it's not about the day. You know, you can, you should show love to your significant other and other people in your life every day. It will be. <laughs>